It's a beautiful day here in sunny Southern California, and for gamers, the day is even better. You want to know why? Well, check it out. NVIDIA has been doing streaming gaming with their grid service for a little while. And you guys out there who own Shield products, you guys know what I'm talking about. The Shield's a really cool handheld device where you can stream and operate all your games, either on the Shield or through your TV by operating it with the Shield. Pretty cool stuff. Now, in the past, the most that you could stream your games was at 1280 by 720. But now, NVIDIA with their grid service is changing the playing field. And for you people out there for some reason just don't know what grid is, well, think Steam for NVIDIA because that's what it is. But now, you're gonna be able to do 1920 by 1080 streaming. It's exciting, right? Look, the dog decided. So we're panning, that, that's excitement for him. So that's really cool stuff. The thing is though, there are a few caveats with that though. You have to have at least a 30 megabit per second connection. Now NVIDIA themselves, they recommend 50. And I can see why, because streaming obviously takes a shitload of bandwidth. But just picture this now. 1080 has become the standard for gaming. So before, if Grid was only offering at 720, they were kind of like, you know, a little behind the times. So you can say now NVIDIA is totally caught with the times because 1080 is the standard. I know there's some 4K shit out there and people are using some widescreen stuff, but hey, 1080 is the sweet spot. Everything's geared to run super in 1080. And now you can stream all your games through NVIDIA's grid at 1920 by 1080. So I'll see you online. Next up, you guys all know that I'm into the smart home. I had the August Smart Lock and now this other company out there called Umi is bringing it to a whole nother level. I think by now most people out there know how to use a tablet or are very familiar with the tablet. And the basic for this whole thing is off this really simple to use tablet. And the whole thing around this entire project is its simplicity. It's basically really just plug and play. And some things don't even have to be plugged in to match up with the system. Basically you take this simple and easy to use tablet, take it up to the device that you're trying to use, and it will automatically match up with it. It'll create a dialog box, which you'll be able to use and then operate that device. They have cool things like a light that plugs in and changes all kinds of colors. I mean, this stuff's really cool. If you wanna use like another light in the socket, you basically remove the plug from that socket, plug in their device, plug the device into that, and then automatically it connects through the tablet and you have full control. Also, something really cool. I know everybody's lazy out there in their couch potatoes. With this product, you can totally operate and do things in your TV. You can even check out your stuff from Netflix and operate it all from the easiness of your living room chair. I mean, that's pretty awesome stuff. Smart homes to me are the way of the future. I've been wanting to really get into it. And I think this is the first product that's ever going to really change the game. So right now, you can pre-order the product and there's actually three main packages where you guys can save yourself some cash and get your smart home on the go. So check out Umi on their Indiegogo site and also over on their website, umihome.com. Next up in the hot news, and this news is actually quite devilish. That's right, the people of RIT G-Skill have now raised the ceiling on DDR4 memory speeds. You're gonna be able to now get your hands on 3,666 megahertz memory, which is quite devilish. <laughs> so for those people out there looking for super duper high speed memory in the DDR4 realm, well check it out. G-Skill's got it for you. The new kit comes with Intel XMP 2.0 support as well. So for those of you who have an X99 chipset, you're in like Flynn. Next up in the news is a company with a weird name. This is Fixstars, or Fixstars, I think that's how you say it, but check this out. These people are gonna have a six terabyte SSD. That's right, I said it, six terabytes. Just imagine all the stuff you could store on that thing. So many people know what I'm talking about out there. Lots and lots of storage. Now, obviously, at six terabytes, this thing's not going to be cheap, and no, sir. They're figuring the price tag when this thing drops in the market is going to be between anywhere between $1,800 and $2,400. Now, that's a lot of cash. But six terabytes and an SSD, that's a whole hell of a lot of storage. Now, as far as speeds and feeds and all that stuff goes, we'll have to see when the product hits the market. But hey, six terabytes, like I said, is a lot of storage. You'll be able to store pretty much anything you want and think about how many games you'll be able to put on there. So gamers, those who do photos, video editing, for those people out there, hey, this is gonna be something you're gonna to wanna to check out. Personally, I don't think for that kind of money, I'm gonna be looking to get one, but somebody out there who's really in the business of doing this and has the cash, you might wanna check this out. 
So I'm Elric. You guys have been watching Tech for Tomorrow. Like usual, thank you very much to the people out there we got these stories from. You'll see the information down there below that like button. Hopefully, you guys will go Bruce Lee on that like button. You guys know what I mean. It's a nice day here in Southern California. I'm enjoying it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's show. We love you. The animals you guys can see, they're having a great time out here. And I'm just glad to be here on the channel bringing you guys the news. So peace out. All the information is down there below. Just hit that show me more button and you can see it all.